simply get things started. Cause we ain't got no time to waste. I don't mind. All right, guys, the Hootie Shop is here, and I think that means a box here. So we're gonna go go. We're gonna go grab the uh, Mystics, and yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Um, oh, it's not that bad actually. So this will give us a bunch of Mystics. On top of that, we'll have a better chance to get a puck. I think this is exactly four hundred. The bam. Um. Ooh, the Mola. That might be something I pick up later, but right now I do kind of need to preserve. And... Interesting. If there's something great in here, maybe. Nope. <laughs> what the hell is this? It's not even worth it. All right, let's go. Let's go check out the CFA box here. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the like button, and she is here. Unfortunately, we do have a doo-doo banner, but I mean, I'm here for APOC, and APOC exclusively. There are other characters on this banner. Now, what, what channel am I on? I'm going to jump to channel one and try my luck. Ah, uh, okay. Well, we're going to do a few multis here, and then I'll probably sit and save for a bit and see what's on the next banner, but I do want to try to pull APOC. So hopefully we do. Uh, that could be a dupe for someone that I don't want. Okay. Um, artifacts are fine. Ooh, I'm not feeling this one tonight, boys. But we'll try a little bit more. That's a lot of ascending axes. I think it's saying something. <sighs> of course I pull her. I knew it. I knew I was going to pull her. Whatever. Come on, man. My pity is so far away. There's no way I get her back to back. Of course, uh, of course someone pulled a Bakarabi. Please! I had to go to pity- oh, wait. Give me a taste of Awesome. Yes! Yes! We got APOC! Oh, yes! My first level was not a pity! Yes! <laughs> we get the save! Alright, sweet. So that's cool. Our pity's reset, but we did pull Apocalypse Robbie and a dupe of Kawada. What can I say, man? Channel 1 has come through clutch again. I didn't have to go to pity, thankfully, this time around. Um, I'm very happy about that. Very happy about that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take a peek at her. All right, guys. So here's my Apocalypse Ravi build for now. I know I have low health on her. I need to work on it. There's some pieces I can improve to definitely help her out. But this is going to be something that I work over time. Once again, I'm still pretty new to this game. I have a core set for her. I just got to improve up on it. It's what I'm trying to say. So, I have her on Proof of Valor, this is why I can fight against uh, Pavels. Obviously, with my current condition, with her health, I would have to get a little bit more health on her. I think Pavel can do up to 18,000, so I'd have to get over above 23,000. Probably 24,000, she should be good to go. Promola has got three in the ultimate, two into the... Da, 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 two, and then I got a Mola rest of it. Don't worry, I'm going to plus 15 her over time. Don't sweat it. So, her pieces that I have are going to be critical damage, health, effect, resistance, speed... I'm going to re-roll off this effect resistance for some critical hit chance. That way I can get this closer to 100%. Her chest plate is something that I completely need to replace, I think. It's got speed, critical chance, attack percent, really high attack percent and health. But I, I feel like I need to get higher health than this. I think I need to go for that 31 or like high, high 20. Actually, is this piece keepable? Let me know in the comments below if this piece is fine. I, I feel like it could be okay. That's a lot of crit chance, meaning. Um, her... Necklace 
has speed attack, crit chance, defense. I do think I want to reroll the attack off for health percent, though I might as well get another necklace because this is universally good for like a defense skilling units. Uh, her neck, her ring is an HP percent ring. I need to re roll off the resistance for health percent or the critical hit chance. Oh, I guess I have to re-roll it off for critical hit chance, and this would be a pretty nice piece of gear. And then her boots are defense, attack percent, critical chance, critical damage, once again, for defense scaling units. And then her, uh, what is this? Uh, her chest base, defense percent, health, crit chance, crit damage for defensive scaling unit. So there's a few pieces I definitely need to switch out. I need to take the uh, pen pieces, probably roll them into, or just take them off and rebuild them towards HP pieces. And then probably, you know, just re-roll some stats of just to see what I can do uh, in this gear. Like, for example, roll off the effect resistance here for critical hit chance to help her out. Because I feel like this piece should be pretty solid if I did that. It's got good enough health, good enough crit chance. I would just need crit chance to boost this up, and this would be pretty good for her. Her necklace, I feel like I'm just going to save this for someone else. I could roll... Well, I guess I could roll health in there. Let me know if that would be worth it. If I just, just re replace the attack percent for health, and then for her necklace, re-roll off effectiveness for... Either critical chance or flat health at this point, right? So something like that, because it's got defense percent in it. So I think I think flat health would work or a crit chance. So a few pieces that I can adjust to help her. I definitely want to get her above 23,000 health. But we're going to go ahead and go into PvP match and test her out. This will work. All right, so I guess we're going to fight this. Uh, I know they have a healer, Solitarius, to kind of my focus, but I don't really have a focus unit on, so we should be okay. So I think the main thing we just have to do is just see how good APOC performs in this type of scenario. I'm purposely going to pop my S3 on my DN, though, to see if we can bait um, to lean into her. So we'll do this as the defense break, and then we'll go ahead and pop. If we do keep going first, we can go ahead and do what we got to do. Okay, what does this do? I don't remember. In fact, why don't we just kick her to the grave? Nice. A uh, cool thing with Apoc Robbie is that you can just use her S1 and it does plenty of damage, especially if you molo it on a crit damage stint, so... That's kind of nice. Um, the fact that you can just use her ult as a revive tool, or a finisher, is kind of cool. I think I need to get rid of Growl next. Step back. Or Amelia. Amelia could be annoying. I will guide you the light. Does this do anything special? It gives us a barrier, so we might as well proc it. Now we can pop this for more stuff. I'll take down anyone who interferes with me. I'll fight you. Nice. Yeah. No. Oh, let's see what she does here. Once again, this is not mullet, so uh, I need to mullet. it. I guess this is like a almost a low budget mullet build, but I, ironically, you do want to max the mullet on Apoc, obviously. Oh my god, Solitarius is hella annoying. I need my ultimates. I want to ult so bad, but we won't. We'll, 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 why does she have to heal, man? We need my ultimates back up. Can I get a dual attack? Oh. She's gonna die eventually. It's just a matter of time at this point. Oh, I can use her ult another revive her hand. So, we'll do that. Did we really not crit? That's unlucky. Out of all the times to crit, that would have been great. Fine. He's pretty healthy. That's not good. Ooh. Well, Apoc's here to carry us, so it's okay. 
We just gotta get rid of her. I'm just gonna burn it to be sure that she dies. You just stick the Apox showcase now with her soling everything. Dude, Solitarius needs to go away. She's annoying. I guess I can use her ultimate to revive. Seriously, a stun? Oh my god, this Solitarius is a... Nah, she just attack lured me now. I think I can cleanse it. This is extremely annoying. Holy crap, Solitarius. I'm ulting this man and killing him. That way we can get a high young back, hopefully. Jesus, bro. But we broke her defense, so now she's just dead if I burn my S1. Oh, we just do that. Cool. Cool, that's a cool showcase of Robbie there. Unfortunately, we did miss her crit on, uh, I think, Amelia, but we still won it. She managed to revive, and, you know, with defense broke. Pretty much the purpose of Robbie to be extremely annoying and very bulky and she did quite well there obviously mine's not the perfect like ravi she's got a lot of improvement to take but she's a usable ravi i just gotta mull her fix some of her gear and you'll see that she'll just be disgusting once i mid max her but i do like destruction set on her personally so she hits harder i know that you guys can put her on counter set if you want to but people know how to play around that now so i think the destruction set right now is the better thing to put on her for now until people forget about it and uh then you can go back to counter but having both sets accessible to her is probably gonna help you guys a lot so yeah, that's going to be it for this short showcase. Um, once again, my my Robbie's got low, low Mola. I need a Mola her. So I'll have a guide on the new event to coming very shortly. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and good luck on your A Robbie rolls, uh, polls. She's one of my favorite characters and I'm really glad I got her. So I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.